Good evening. We begin tonight with snake season in South Carolina with summer almost here and those hotter temperatures. Experts say it's gearing up to be an active snake season across the Palmetto State. Community Facebook pages have seen an increase of pictures of snakes all across the area showing up in people's yards and on, in some cases homes. Our Nate Stanley sat down with a wildlife expert. He joins us with everything you need to know about snakes here in the Midlands. That's right, JR. <laughs> An increase. Wildlife experts tell me the reason we're seeing that increase is because of with nicer weather, we're more inclined to be outside and more likely to run into reptiles. Steve Bennett, who you're about to hear from, says although they might look scary, for the most part, you have nothing to worry about when you see one. And, and snakes are just, you know, for vertebrate animals, large, they are sort of the craziest ones. Call it an obsession or call it an interest for the animal. Either way, Steve Bennett's love for snakes runs deep. He's a herpetologist and retired after working 30 years for SCDNR, discovering and exploring reptiles across the state. He says this is the time of year when more people are starting to cross paths with snakes. We get out, we walk around, we hike, we go to the lake, we go to places where snakes hang out, so we're seeing them more. He says there's hundreds of species of reptiles and amphibians in the state and around 30 species of native snakes in South Carolina, spanning from the upstate to the low country. For the most part, what people see in and around their homes, the suburbs, the parks they go to, it's a handful of of species. He explains it's common to bump into snakes regardless of where you go. You might even be startled by them. However, he says you really won't be physically hurt by them unless you're unfriendly first. Just leave it alone. Just don't approach it. He notes if you or a pet gets bit by a snake, seek medical attention, but only a minority of snakes in South Carolina are venomous. If you see them a lot though, think about getting them removed. The, the most common venomous snake that occurs in proximity to human beings is the copperhead. They have um, hourglass markings on their back. They are a coppery pink color and you see that animal more than once. Then maybe calling uh, uh, you know the wildlife removal service would be a good idea. So you are King Kong to that snake. Even a very large rattlesnake, you're King Kong to it. You, they don't want to have anything to do with you. Bennett adds you can reduce the chances of seeing a snake at your house by getting rid of junk piles outside your home, including brick piles and other material that may give snakes a place to sit under. Once again, don't approach them if you see or find one. Reporting in studio, Nate Stanley, News 19, WLTX. All right, Nate, thank you. In case you are wondering tonight, there are 38 snake species in South Carolina. Six of those are venomous. Wildlife experts say many snakes provide an important service, keeping rodents and other pest populations under control. Some of the most common seen snakes in South Carolina are the black racers, brown snakes, corn snakes, eastern garter snakes, eastern king snakes, rough green snakes, non-venomous water snakes, and rat snakes. Wildlife experts say all snakes are non-aggressive when left alone. 